breaking news, my wonderful people. It is really happening now. Dino Maleye has already told us how things roll in PDP and other parties when he accused Peter Obi of going to a particular bus stop, blow a whistle, bring buses, and people run into it and, you know, they get paid. Again, it has happened for his own party, just like he said, that's Dino Maleye. What he said, the party has really done it. You see, in the north, as Atiku went, they've gone to blow whistle in some motor parks and people have come out en masse to welcome the presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party, PDP. This was what Dino told Nigerians. As Nigerians, we had said, Dino, you have done it too. He's the spokesman of his party, by the way. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Nigerians react as massive northern group come out to welcome the People Democratic Party candidate Halaji Atiku Abubakar, according to Dino Maleye, who said the presidential candidates and all has to be the presidential candidates gathering Nigerians and gathering crowds for campaign is cheap. The presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, on Wednesday, arrived in Berchi to attend the Northern Conservative meeting of the party ahead of 2023 general election. However, the Northerners massively came out to welcome him. According to Dino Maleye, pulling a crowd for campaign is easy and is a cheap thing that everyone can do. Which is part which his party does easily. The news headline has stirred mixed reaction among Nigerians who have reacted in different ways. One would thought the so-called conservative or law states or law states that are sitting are sitting political holders contesting for a new position should resign from his current position. But Currently, it feels like the North is quite happy with what is going on and has not made anything of difference. We only have two candidates, Atiku and Tinubu, they have said. Massive crowd for Atiku in the North is a sure thing for him, Dino has said. I see Atiku defeating Tinubu in all the states in the North. Why Lagos will be 55 and 45 for, 55 for Tinubu, 45 for Atiku because that is his stronghold. Apart from that, he cannot win any other state. So Dino Maleye is very resolute on his stand. He's very sure of what he wants and is very prepared. You know, he has made up his mind on what, you know, they intend. And he has told us before how they rule, how they get their crowd. So Nigerians will react and say, Dino, you have done it again. Oh. Ah, you have done it. Dino, Dino. You know, when uh, people came out by themselves to support our very own brother, uh, Halaji, at, uh, to support our very own brother, Peter Obi, Dino was in a video. If you have not seen it, please go on Apple Line Media on that video and see for yourself how Dino was saying to Hosseini that a gathering crowd in Nigeria is cheap, is an easy thing, and that um, people should not think that people coming out that uh, it was organized by Peter Obi, he paid the crowd. You know, so people are asking him, do you know, have you paid? How many people did you pay? Have you paid this crowd now? How many of them did you pay? Because he told Nigerians that that's how they roll. They pay crowds. They gather crowds. They pay them. You know, so it was, it was in the north, one of the northern states, and the massive crowd has stirred up mixed reactions with many people asking, do you know, is this how, if this is, you know, this is what he was talking about. This is what Dino was talking about. So it is what it is, and every one of us can see for ourselves that things are quite different and uh, beyond what you thought it is becoming, you know, uh, uh, you know, something that, you know, you never have a sage or you never thought about. So these are part of things that are happening and Nigerians, you can see for yourself that it is what it is. And um, it is time for Nigerians to make a decision, whether you make a decision or not, someone will make the decision for you. Okay. Whether you make the decision or not, someone will make the decision for you. So what will it be? Okay, what will it be? What decision are you making? Are you just going to sit back there and do nothing? Because Dino has told us that that's how they rule. Dino Malaya said the garden card is easy. 
So but Nigerians are asking now. Nigerians are asking him, is this how you gather the crowd? So how many people did you pay? How many people? He could not answer that question. You know, if Dino does not know it, he will not answer. He will try to use words to cover the other. So Nigerians, because he told Nigerians that uh, it will be a speedy crowd. I didn't know how these things, that he even have boys who are saying, oh God, we need to go now because we need to collect our share. And I'm wondering. So he paid everybody in in Lagos, he paid everybody. And I say, Peter, will be not the small money you get to. He paid everybody in Lagos. He paid everybody in a, in a Delta, in Edo, in um, Enugu. How many people did he pay? How many people did he pay? You know, so the crowd came out in mass. Not a small crowd, though. A huge number of people came out. And, you know, Nigerians are asking, you know, if this is what he meant by what he was saying. Anyway, my wonderful people, you can see for yourself and the... Uh, Things are looking quite different and it is really happening. Okay, it's really happening and you all, we all can see, you know, how things, you know, how things, you know, uh, you know, have been falling out and how things have been going. We have to begin to really carefully re-examine our position and, and, and our stand. You know, we have to really carefully, you know, really um, take a stand in all of that because uh, whenever we let down our guards, Okay, whenever we lay down our guard, we allow other people and other things to take over. It's not right. Okay, it's not right at all. So it is what it is. And uh, the days to make a difference is now. Let's ensure that we are finding that real point and that real place and we are getting the real truth of what we deserve and we are moving forward. Because right about now, you know, it is time for us to uh, make a real big make you know make commitment in terms of getting the right persons into the right offices so that as a nation we can forge ahead and we can move forward if we continue in this way we'll not be able to go very far we'll not be able to go very far you see so let's 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 ensure that we're standing on the position of truth yes let's stand on the position of truth let's ensure that um, you know nigerians know who they are a songwriter says, I know who I am. I, I, I am bold. I'm strong. I'm not um, a lay back. I'm not a push away. So Nigerians, we need to know who we are and vote in the right people. Yes. So that at the end of the day, we can truly uh, transform and be that person. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now. Have a good day. Bye-bye.